Police dash cam video of an officer involved shooting is now in the hands of the district attorney's office. The Port Arthur police chief says it clearly shows officer Herschel Whiting had no choice when he shot and killed 19-year-old Eduardo Rodriguez. Investigators say Rodriguez stole a truck yesterday afternoon, wrecked it on Peak Avenue off Gulfway, then flagged down another driver who picked him up, not knowing what had just happened. Police stopped Rodriguez and tried to arrest him. They say that she managed to take away Officer Casey Frank's gun, aimed it at her, then at Officer Whiting, a 24-year-old veteran of the department. Whiting shot and killed the suspect. Fox 4's Haley Boole spoke with Chief Mark Blanton and learned new details about the case, including how the officers first tried to stop the teen and why it didn't work. That's our top story. Tire trails, orange paint, markings in the grass, and on the road in the 1500 block of Peak Avenue. Part of the investigation, one day after the officer involved shooting. Tried to physically restrain, they tried the taser, and eventually it led to the use of deadly force. But each step was brought on by the suspect. 19-year-old Eduardo Rodriguez, shot and killed by an officer the chief says was trying to protect his co-workers. He was definitely menacing the officers. I mean. During the struggle, uh, Officer Frank could very easily been shot. And once he had her weapon, either the officers or both could have been shot. This car, the vehicle officers say Rodriguez took from a driver before wrecking it in a ditch. Police say he walked down the road, flagged down another driver, and officers converged. During a struggle, Rodriguez took away Officer Casey Frank's gun. Officer Herschel Whiting fired a taser at the teen, but it had no impact. Dash cam video captured everything. And in the video, it appears that in the struggle, the weapon is being pointed at Officer Frank. And when the gun is wrested from her, she does the wise thing and gets out of the way. And uh, as the suspect wheels with the weapon towards Officer Whiting, he uh, fires on the suspect. The gun was still in the teen's hand. Whiting kicks it away. The teen dies at the scene. Officers Frank and Whiting are okay. Today, they're home on paid administrative leave, standard procedure during such an investigation. The chief called them this morning. Both seem to be uh, doing as well as uh, can be uh, expected going through something as traumatic as this. The officers part of a family beyond their own. Most of the officers that are involved in something such as this uh, want to come back to work relatively quickly. Their friends are here, their co-workers, their support group is here. Support following the use of deadly force, a last resort, the chief says, when a taser didn't work. It looks to me that the dark did not at least one of them did not make contact, and if you don't have both, it's not going to work. Taking away one more option before an officer has to make the ultimate decision. Every officer I know hopes that they never have to discharge their weapon in the line of duty. A decision the chief says an officer made to protect himself, his co-workers, and the public. In Port Arthur, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News. Both officers are on administrative leave with pay. That is standard procedure in this type of case. The DA will take it to a grand jury probably in the next few weeks, which is also standard when there is use of force.